The flames of Zoroastrianism have been sacred in the East for millennia. Ever since that era, the West has wondered about the mysteries and cultures. Some have taken up their history, and others have taken upon their food. This is especially prominent with its success in downtown Toronto. Mostly covered by Turkish or Lebanese restaurants, a unique one exists called Little House of Kebabs, which specializes in Persian cuisine. The owner, Farid Karubi, leads these chains in downtown with his national sense of taste in his home food. We decided to come to this unique restaurant in order to try the unique Persian flavor of downtown and see how it stands up against its other counterparts. Oh, my name is Farid. Yeah, I'm family name is Karubi. Um, I like to, to have a fresh, you know, to serve them nice food and fresh. But the big question is, what should I buy and eat? There are so many choices and so little that I know about. Uh, always, you know, when they come here, we have to explain the food and with the pictures. And always, you know, when they, they see the, how we make the food and they come inside. That's why, you know, everybody when they come, they like it in the barbecue, we do in the barbecue. So I decided to take Farid's advice by looking at what's being made on the grill as well as a few special recommendations from him. So we decided to try the famous Persian signature dish. So this is uh, what we got here. It's a, it's a full on uh, chicken kebab here which is also known as chili kebab. And as well, we'll be looking at the famous shawarma. Okay, so here's what we got. We've got the traditional uh, dish of Iran, the most popular one, known as chili kebab. The chili kebab is a combination of two kebab strips, either being made of beef, chicken, lamb, or other variations in existence. It comes with rice at all times, a tomato piece, a piece of lemon, and even butter for the kebabs. As well, in side order, we have bread, we have salad. So let's begin. As I eat this delicacy, I know it's a fresher taste than normal restaurants I've been to. You know, every, everything we make it fresh, everything as a scratch we make it, like, you know, the rice we make, kebabs, everything fresh. You see, in many cases, kebabs are a bit red on the inside. Here, on the other hand, so much more comfortable. It's cooked to perfection. There's not one cinch of red meat on it at all. So you can get a much healthier and more halal meat for us to eat. We have to try to make it, you know, I mean, uh, to have a patient when you make the food, you know. You don't have to rush to serve it fast, you know. And the customer, they, they said, five, you know, always they sit five minutes, no problem. But you have to take care of the food. That was incredible. I, ha I hadn't eat in two meals ju just so I could try this. Being far too full, I didn't think I could eat the shawarma. So from Eastern Persia, also known as Afghanistan, I invited my friend Abdul Malik, who has a similar background to this cuisine in order to taste the shawarma. Shawarmas are popular Middle Eastern wraps that contain various vegetables, meats, sauces, all wrapped and cut within a pita bread for a burst of flavor. Thank you. Hi, I'm Abdullah Malik, and uh, today I've, I was invited here by Sasha Akberi uh, to, to have a taste at this restaurant just to see what, it, what it's like. Uh, let's just see how it is. Oh, there was not too many restaurants around here before. Yeah, now almost three, four years, five years now it's not different businesses, the different restaurants, I mean in the Middle East, like shawarma, those falafel. Shawarmas are normally not a Persian dish, yet Ferry denies that they sell non-Persian food. No, all is Persian food, all Persian food, all the specialties in kebabs. Normally, the shawarma meat is cut from a rotisserie, yet this restaurant contains none. 
to which we soon discovered that Farid had reinvented the shawarma by Persianizing the shawarma by using kebabs in place of the rotisserie meat. So, one of the differences I realized from this uh, for this restaurant is uh, how, how packed this shawarma is. This beef shawarma compared to other places, they actually like tried to fill out for you, and then you know, like with salad and all the like the vegetables, they make it really like tasty and stuff. We both agree mm. upon this great food, and so do others. Uh, I ordered the Serbian kebab, which is uh, lamb uh, fillet. Yeah, and it's very delicious. The food that I'm eating is called uh, beef kebab. And uh, yeah, I come here pretty much like almost twice a week or something. And it's really good. Yeah, I ate chicken kebab. It was delicious. It was really cool. With great taste and reasonable prices, we thoroughly enjoyed this restaurant and would love to return to it, located at Young and Gerard Street.